Hey guys, real quick, before we get started in today's video, today is a very special day for a very special little girl, and that is Michael and Leslie's daughter, Sabrina. So you guys wish her a happy birthday in the comments, because today's her birthday. Happy birthday, Sabrina. It's Friday. Finally Friday. Finally. That's what we're going to say. Well, it feels good in this truck this morning. It's hot out there. It is. Cut that off so you can hear. It feels great. Well, we got some pink socks. Yeah, we're slowly getting our tools for call stuff in. Yeah. So we have our pink socks, of course. We have a little baby box. I call it a baby box. It's like a, it's a little pink toolbox. Yeah, a little miniature toolbox. Mm -hmm. Too bad old Bill ain't here. He'd be all about them pink socks. Well, so you know your wife, I'm sure, likes pink. So <laughs> what's neat about these is just the design of them. Yes, I've already took me a pair. So oh. they're pretty neat. I, they didn't, uh, last year they were solid. Yeah. And they had, you know, the toe and the heel had just a, I think, a different little color of paint. But I like this design better. That's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Got some new hyper steps, or that just a 21 piece right That's a 21 piece. So, you know, we nine times out of ten we sell the 29 piece of those right. because it has the two rows of warranty on them. Mm -hmm. But say that you don't need the bigger sizes, I mean, that's perfect. It still has that one row of warranty. Yeah. And I think the highest drill bit in that bottom row is like maybe 14. So it's um on the hyper steps, it's everything above a quarter, right? Yes. That works. So a lot of people get a working. misconception that a quarter, when we say above a quarter, they think a quarter and above, but it's not. So I don't have a box open. I'll just open this box. So what we have to say is whenever they do buy them. So, well, I don't want them to sling open. Oh, is. yeah. So the what I'll do is I'll say this first row is warranty, so that's your 1764s mm -hmm. all the way up to a 3 8 And of course, if you have the 29 piece, you'll have an additional right. row here. This row is not. So as you see, it's a 1 16th, teeny tiny little baby bit, all the way up to a quarter. Mm -hmm. So this row is not warranty. But like I said, they're not that bad. If you right. say yeah. you don't even need this whole set and you just want the bottom row because you're machining or I think, I'm not sure what everybody else does, but. Anyways, say you don't need that and you just need the bottom row, we sell just the bottom row. So you can literally- And you can it. order each bit, like if you break a three sixteenths or whatever. Yeah. And they're not really expensive. I was I really know. shocked at the yeah. price of them. So. The only time they get expensive is if, say that you have that big set and you break every single one of those little bitty ones and you're like, I need to replace all of them at one time. Mm -hmm. So if you order them individual, yes, that kind of, you know, it adds up. But luckily, Maco sells a whole set of just mm. the bottom row. So, say you waited till you broke every single one of them, you just buy that whole set. And it's kind of, people get it confused too a little bit because they think when they get dull, it's a warranty. And that's yeah. not, it's got to be broken. Not, yeah. It, it's, it's, so. The tip has to be broke. So, say mm. it's getting dull and you know it's fixing to break, I'll go ahead and have you one on order. Yeah. Just in case that tip breaks. <laughs> That's right. I mean, because, I mean, it's bound to happen. If it's dull. Oh, yeah. Something's going to break. I mean, it's going to snap off. I mean. It happens. It does happen. So. <laughs> That's what happened to all mine when y'all replaced them. It was yeah. just, they broke. I mean, when they get sent in for warranty, those tips are broke off. Mm hmm Preferably no blue. But. Yeah. Just, you know, use a little bit of that oil. And you'll well, be. They wouldn't have broke it when it got blue, wouldn't it? Exactly. Got to finish the job. Exactly. I mean, you got you to get paid. I mean, that's all there is that's to it. it. So, what new cool stuff y'all got? Y'all got to have something new. Matt has always got something. They always have something new. But, I'm just going to say UPS. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to throw them under the bus. I mean, it's all I'm going to do. But, I do have the new Tools for Call shirt right there behind you hanging up. Okay. We did get that in yesterday. Yeah. So, those are actually pretty neat. Um, I know this is a guy's channel and you don't care about fabric by no means but that is not a normal cotton shirt not if you a normal feel it cotton you can shirt. feel it you see the difference yeah, there? it feels soft it is a soft it's the last year's shirt yeah, that's it was a, a scratchy. thick cotton yeah and you had to fabric softener mm -hmm. the heck out of that thing 
because I can't, my, I can't, I don't, I don't like, you know. But anyways, they did switch. So I know it's not a big deal, but it is to me. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get, you know, those in. Uh, we're waiting on our little baby box, our, our paint toolbox to come yep. in. Um, our clip lifters, the new, uh, the indexing ones mm -hmm. that can flip. I think Michael showed those on yeah, the those here cool. before. They have those available in paint right now. And our clip tool, it yeah. is actually available in paint. I think I got a flyer right here. Yeah, so, I showed that flyer last week, you? last wow. Friday. I'm Because I was you. gone and I already got one. So I thought I'd share it and that way people Same could flyer. order their paint stuff. Yeah, go ahead. That's uh, Because it's going to go quick. It definitely will. So this flyer actually starts. I don't know time. if the pink stuff sells that good or Matco just doesn't order enough of it, but it always seems like they run out of the pink stuff. I don't know. I think it's kind of half and half because a lot of people don't buy pink throughout the year. Mm -hmm. They're strictly just, you know, breast cancer awareness or, you know, that's the only time I can buy my wife something off tool trips to sure, paint. Sure. So, but well, you know, I think it's one of them deals it's a good cause you know like I, I did a video yesterday where we showed the pink stuff that snap-on's coming out with yeah and one of the guys comments was and he he said that you know he won't be back on the snap-on truck anymore not oh. our snap-on dealer it was yeah. another you know somewhere else but the dealer said I'm not carrying that pink stuff on my truck like you know and the guy that was writing the comment on there his mother was a survivor of breast cancer oh, goodness. And I think he said he had another person that had passed away or whatever. But anyway, he was wanting to get some pink stuff for his toolbox, you know, yeah. to kind of honor that. And then he had a little girl and a Snap-on guy wouldn't even talk to him about ordering it. I'm like, what do you care? Like, I'm not yeah. a fan of the purple. I don't like purple. But if I was a tool truck and purple sales, I would be happy to stock purple. Like, exactly. It wouldn't matter to me, you know. I understand. So. Well, I you have it. to kind of adjust... Mm -hmm. I know Michael had to, whenever I got on the truck, he had to explain to me, look, you know, the big thing right now is political views. Do not discuss yeah. your political views because hey, you're going to have... Vote for whoever you want to. Just exactly. pay me my money every Friday or it don't Tuesday or Wednesday. Or <laughs> exactly. You want to get on here and you want to talk, that's fine. But yeah. don't, I'm, I'm not going to express, you know, sure. I'm not going to care. Honestly, you, you want to buy something? head on I, yep. i'll talk to you about that all day long yeah but i'm the um, same way i don't care and i don't care what church you go to exactly i don't, I don't care do. i don't it's, care if you like burger king over mcdonald's i'm a mcdonald's guy i don't care the Just mountain dew coke give me I, give me your it. money and get the hell off here That's what <laughs> exactly at. so i'll give you an example on that one we had a guy get on here now he's an older gentleman he's probably 60 70 he still has a shop mm -hmm. i mean he has tools like he started, he said he started tooling mm -hmm. when he was like 10 with his daddy, but he just gradually accumulated all of them over time. Well, he wanted to upgrade his ratchet. That's fine. Well, he was talking about, oh, my old so-and-so ratchet. He can't even tell who it was because it was all like, right. at that point, it's done, all the engravings done war. Yeah. Cause I mean, it was a- He got his money out of it. Exactly, he, it's well worth it. But he's like, well, I, I just like this better and I said well bring it out here and I'll see what it I'll see if I can find I couldn't find a lick of anything on that ratchet so he ended up getting a fixed head ratchet with yeah. just a chrome handle he didn't want to upgrade no comfort group yep, he, just, just but he's an older ratchet. gentleman yeah so I mean yeah it is what it is you have a preference mm -hmm. I when I change the oil on tundra want to use my ratchet yeah. I like the comfort grip I do too when Michael breaks it loose for me. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> Toyota likes to. You just have to get to... you a longer ratchet. Well, he regulates yeah. them. Yeah. It's amazing how strong you can be with a real long. I guess I don't want to break nothing. Because <laughs> if he can break it loose with a 3 8 ratchet. Yeah. And I mean, it's just the filter. Yeah. I mean, I should be able to do it. But mm. yeah, well, apparently Toyota likes to tighten, you know, because they got that plastic one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll holler at him, hey, can you just at least Move it, crack break it for this, me. you know, I'll just a little bit. <laughs> He'll kind of laugh at me. And, but, yeah. I mean, it's it's all your preference. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so even if I didn't want to do the pink, which we love doing it, yeah, but um, like it too. if we had a customer get up here and say, hey, I want to order that, we definitely would. Mm -hmm. um, just like the teal or the um, purple, like mm -hmm. you said. But, 
I mean, it's just all in preference. Yeah. Look at the pink box. We had a guy get up here. You showed the flyer. So on the flyer, if you look back, it has a pink JSC card. Yep, I, sh I talked about that. That's all he wanted. Yep. He, he said, I want this right here. And, of course, everybody in the shop was ragging him for wanting a pink box. But he's mm -hmm. like, no, you don't realize I, I want this yep. box. So. You know, Bill yeah. had the purple box when he first started here. He had a big purple uh, Matco box. Yep, yeah, purple. Big one. I'm telling you, you get purple on here and it's, it's gone. We got one guy who, he literally, anything that we have purple. So the ratchet holders here, mm -hmm. he he has a set of those. He has a set of the 3 8 half. Um, he wants the wrench holders to be available in purple. Yeah. So. I'm a blue and orange guy. I like blue and orange. And then like red's my next favorite. Like. I used to like green a lot, but green's been around a long time, and I and I had a, a roll cart, a green roll cart, and I, it didn't take me long. I got tired of green, like bad tired of green. Well, it's all in what color green too, because yeah. you have on just on this truck alone, you have this green, yep, which is our flat light. Mm -hmm. You have our fender cover that's green. Yep, green screwdrivers. And then two different green um, ratchet there. Oh, no, different screwdrivers, fluorescent and then red oh, yeah, green. Oh, yeah, so, See, I like the floors, the, I call it high vis green. Oh, right like, there, yeah, above your head. Yeah, this green. I kind of like that, so it's sort of like a yellowy yeah. green. I like. I do like that color. So, so, it's all in your preference. And it's real <laughs> close to this. It is. So. Yeah, we let that little guy hang and he just, that's all you gotta do. <laughs> But uh, we have, oh, there's one more. I don't know if I can get it off or not because it's a strong magnet. This green. Yep. Yeah. I like the anodized green too. That's a different green. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how strong that magnet is. And they're sitting there pulling my Oakley cakes off the yep. thing. They don't realize. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's kind of like the Vim socket rails that they have, the mag rails. Yeah. Man. You can't get those things off. If you don't have a lift rail on them, you can't get them off your tow box. Mm -mm. They are ungodly strong oh, yeah. well we have some i think that's them that yeah, makes the, this the one can holder right yeah so we just have this out this guy sitting up here and we can actually hang a ratchet on it if we want to and he just rides yeah so we just hang all of our random stuff up there so when they first come out with the vim mag rails i bought one mm -hmm. and i was going to use it just on the side of the lift you know because like you'll you know put your flip socket up there and you're always working with different sockets right so yep. The reason why I did that is we had a car on the lift one day, and me and Bill was working on it, and we could not find a socket. Like, oh. we got through with the job, went to clean it up, could not find the socket anywhere. It had got knocked off and kind of, anyway, it ended up inside the pad part where the lift was. We didn't know it at the time, but we finally found it, but like, that's 30 bucks. You know, mm -hmm. people don't realize that. Ever, you know, those sockets are really expensive, you know, and you lose one. Hey so anyhow, uh, I was like, I'm going to put one of these mag rails up there. This was before they even come out with the mag pads I, I bought from you yeah. guys, which is on there now. So I bought one and put it up there. Well, we decided we was going to move that thing to a different spot. We was going to put it on the arm oh. instead of the body of the lip. Yeah. Hey, we can't get off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, we was having to go get a tiny flat screwdriver that would fit in the T-slot of that thing to pull it up. I told Bill, I was like, I don't know what kind of magnets they use on this thing, but they're but now, style. They use that magnet on a bunch of their stuff, do they not? Mm -hmm. They actually like have it broke up yep. and put on different stuff. I can't remember. They had something at Expo that they were showing that was like that. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty neat. I'm like, yeah. Style. Yep. Style but they uh, put a, a fabric cover over the thing so it don't scratch your mm -hmm. box, right? That's what I, I well, thought. Well, they got they the gun one too, you know, so you can, it's got a little rubber cover over it so it don't scratch the finish on your gun. Yeah. But you can actually put that underneath your dash and your gun will hang from it. And you gotta like it's strong enough you can rack your gun with it on there. Oh yeah. Like it's it's, it's pretty Yeah, what we had we yeah. First time. You just you never know where they're hanging at. Let's see. <laughs> Always gotta be ready. That's what somebody they got on here and we have customers. Mississippi's an open carry state. Yep. Except, you know, like at schools and mm -hmm. all that stuff. We had a guy get on here and he had one on his head, you know, he was all you know. He had a 
poster it was just kind of falling off. He said, I said well, you know, you're, you're getting up and down. Because, I mean, he lays on the, you can tell he was laying on the ground. So, he said, oh, it's fine. He said, you need one on here. Well, I said, I do. He said, well, where's it at? I said, I'm not showing you. Yeah, I'm I said, keep well, you just, Yeah, you just need to know <laughs> that I got one. And, yeah, we're prepared. Ain't, ain't nobody going to cross this, this barrier right here. It's funny, I, like, people that's not. You know, Texas has had that forever. And I, I don't know some other southern states, but like people that come here, like we had a little get together one time, and there was a guy come here from a northern state, and we went to Walmart to pick up like paper plates and cups and that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. And uh, there was people walking in there, and they had pistols on their side. And they're like, "Man, that legal?" I was like, "Yeah, that's a hundred percent legal." He said, like, "That is crazy. That is that's, it blew his mind, you know." Yeah. Like, which to us, it's normal yeah it's just you know, the it ain't no thing. different than a guy seeing a guy with a pocket clip from his knife you know in his pocket so yeah, yeah that surprises people too mm -hmm. <laughs> i guess that's why we don't have all the murders and the yeah because stealing and carjacking and all the crazy crap that they have up in those northern states because well normally if you, if something happens it's it's not the you know it's not the victim mm -hmm. that's laying on the floor it's yeah. the like here, they just poke a hole in you, let the air out of you, and worry about it later. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's how you fix it. So these northern states should take note of that. Like they should hand those out to people that do the right thing and oh, deflate yeah. a couple of them criminals. They won't have to worry about it. You never know. Problem solved. <laughs> All right, guys. So we give you a lesson on pink socks, drill bits, mm -hmm. open carry, and. Uh, Make sure you get your Tools for Call shirt. All right, Tools for Call stuff. Yeah. There you go. It's a great Friday. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Like always, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Merchandise is in the description. Do all the good stuff, but hit the thumbs up. That's important. You guys have a great weekend. See ya. <laughs>